Hi everyone, I'm Paul Otopjits. I lead the design team at Metalens. What we do is we make actual hardware, actual things. Uh, what you see here is an uh, image of one of the die or components that we've made. It's a little flat optical component, which you put into uh, an optical stack and it takes an image or it illuminates a scene. Um, and if we zoom in, you can see kind of the secret behind what we're making, which is these very small nanoscale pillars, which are made through a semiconductor process. Um, what we've done is taken this technology from the lab, spinning out at Harvard, and remained local. So we're still based in Boston with over 20 employees, many of which are employed on the design or modeling simulation side of things. And we take these designs and we share them with our uh, contract manufacturers, our foundry partners. Uh, and they end up taking these and making our actual components, which we then sell to the end customers. Julia is a big part of the stack and that it helps us to design um, and optimize these components that we end up selling. We've been in the press quite a bit, uh, mostly because it's really exciting to think about what could be next in your cell phone camera. Um, or your cell phone in general. Uh, the coverage has kind of spanned all of the technology that we've uh, been developing, both from the component side of how do we um, actually improve what's kind of already there, but also this kind of further reaching stuff of uh, what can metasurfaces, this kind of technology, really enable uh, for a consumer or for these uh, mass market products. The technology that we do have uh, looks like this. If you are familiar with optics, then you'll know that a typical lens has these kind of curved surfaces which bend and refract the light. Um, ours is more of a diffractive optical element where the light comes in and then our nanostructures, our patterns, end up bending the light uh, into certain directions, mostly through that nanoscale interaction with uh, the material that we've designed or how we've chosen to uh, array that material. What's nice is that um, in a typical optic, you only have access to maybe just the intensity or the direction of the light going in a certain way. We're able to actually have a little, more, a little bit more knobs to turn in terms of the color, but also the polarization um, of the, of the uh, light going through the optic. On the bottom, you kind of see a view of the, the challenge that we face when we're designing these things. So although our nanostructures are on the nanoscale, uh, we actually end up making these one millimeter size or roughly millimeter size uh, optical elements. And so, as you can imagine, that's quite a change in scale from on the one end kind of mesoscopic uh, devices to these very nanoscale uh, level details, which we need to kind of bridge that gap. At the end of the day, this all gets printed on this 12 inch large wafer. Um, so, that's one of the exciting things about working with us is that we have uh, kind of span both these exciting modeling and simulation aspects, but also at the end of the day, we get a real device that you can see and touch with your hands. So how do we use Julia? Uh, there's a few things that kind of end up going through our, our process uh, and it touches on. So at the first kind of front end is computer vision, building these applications to better understand scenes, better understand uh, the content that we're perceiving with our optics. But also on the design side, especially, we use a lot of Julia to do scripting and modeling. All of that lies on a really thorough backbone of the modeling and simulation scheme, which has a lot of responsibilities in terms of building these easy to work with APIs and workflows for the engineering team, but also really being able to calculate and solve these massive PDEs um, on a variety of compute environments. So not just CPUs or clusters, but also GPUs if the algorithm calls for it. With that, there's a lot of numerical linear algebra involved, so a lot of kind of fun uh, exploration in terms of how do we do this faster, how to do this more efficiently or optimize better. And fundamentally what we're doing is we're really taking the way that the engineers are specifying or choosing to model their systems or designs, and then turning that into a differentiable representation, uh, which then is turned through the uh, engine of Julia's Autodiff uh, to end up getting designs that could be optimized faster uh, within the time constraints and ultimately at these large, very large scales. If you're interested in working with us, please send an email to careers at or DM me directly. Thank you.